right now I'm walking through the McMurtry building. Um, I pretty much take about 90% of my classes here. Pretty much this is like my favorite place on campus outside of uh, the basketball uh, gym. And I'm pretty much um, headed down to the studio right now. Um, this is where I spend all of my time. Um, I work in the studio, so I actually have a job here at uh, McMurtry. Um, I'm a lab monitor and I also work in the culture uh, art gallery. Being an, a student athlete, I don't get many times where I can get off campus and take photos, so I, I do a lot of studio, a lot of studio work where I take portraits of teammates um, and other people on campus. Go into this, it's only photography work that's in here, whether it's dark room or um, digital photography. So this is like pretty much the main area where a lot of uh, students work. We only use the advanced dark room and then there's a regular RC dark room. Um, in the advanced fiber dark room, you only use fiber prints, so you're using like really, really expensive uh, printing paper. I do shoot 35 millimeter. Um, I usually do that in my uh, not advanced class. So my advanced class, I, I use a, like a larger format, um, so a six by six, six by seven. So we're about to walk into this advanced digital lab. Uh, this is where I do a lot of my uh, digital prints, but because the room is really small and I, it's like kind of my own space. Um, I like to uh, work on my like film prints in here as well. Pretty much what I have out right now is my work from this past quarter. Um, and I have a bunch of prints. So, I, so these are like really small uh, pieces of paper. Um, so this is fiber paper, um, but this is like a small, like a very small sheet of paper. So this is probably like a 11, uh, eight by 11. Um, and then these are um, 11 by 17. Um, so these are, that's some big paper. Um, and I pretty much, for the entire quarter, uh, all of my prints came out as a nine by nine image on an 11 by 17. I have two contact sheets that are very similar, but I pretty much went through the process of the dark room, meaning putting the paper through chemicals or changing the lights or changing the, the time um, where I'm showing light. And you can tell that like this image is, comes out differently than this one. And, um, you know, we can obviously see that there's more light exposure here and a little underexposed here. So I love taking pictures of people. Um, I'm a huge people person. I, I love having conversations with people, getting to know people. So the biggest thing for me throughout uh, this time and this quarter and also for the rest of my career, I definitely want to take pictures of people. Mostly because I think also portraits are really challenging um, in order to take pictures of people who um, I'm trying to convey a message about them, but also sticking tr to their truth um, as a person and being able to, con to show uh, their personality through images. For body image, a lot of it was like showing the strength of a female athlete, um, but also showing like uh, the beauty in like body, also the beauty in flaws and imperfections and stuff like that. And the really cool part about uh, film photography is that it takes a ton of time to get a great print. For instance, like there's like little scratches in images sometimes when uh, emulsion happens, and um, it's basically like the scratching of a of a piece of film. Um, and that's one thing that I love ha having appear in my images is these little imperfections because our bodies are also have some imperfections as well. One of the fun things about doing this is that um, you know I, I get to be in an environment that's that's a little different. Um, you know, it's much more calm. I'm not I'm not in front of like. 10,000 people or 25,000 people, it's just me in a dark room. I usually take two images and because I want the backgrounds to look as similar as I possibly can, even though sometimes it just doesn't come out that way. Um, and I like go over here into this other area. Yeah, I, would call, I would call it a light box. Um, I pretty much just come over here, um, I put them, the images into the light and I kind of just like look at things that I could fix. These are perfect by any means. These are definitely like my, some of my practice ones, but um, one of the things is like that we don't want is to have like white corners. If you want to be able to see every single corner, I'm keeping the detail with her hair. Um, I have a nice like white to black uh, ratio um, and I also have a nice shadow. You know, Sierra, uh, I love taking pictures of, of her. She's obviously a, a person that's super easy to take pictures of um, and she's my sister-in-law. So um, it's really easy access to someone who's like, you know, willing to take images. I mean, this is kind of like what my photography has, has been. It's been very editorial um, or um, entertainment-wise. Um, I kind of hope that it goes in that direction as well, other than my personal projects. I mean, these are also other athletes on campus. Um, and, you know, this is Alyssa. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with Alyssa. And then also I, I separate my stuff in 
portraiture and uh, documentary. And documentary could be so many different things, but um, for me, it's just pretty much like taking images of time passing. I mean, one of the challenges of being an athlete and also being an art student is the time commitment that both require, and then figuring out a way to like balance that, but not sacrifice one for the other.